you do not want to lose an SD card, right? Yeah, you do not want that. So we're going to tackle that workflow today. Specifically, how images move, get moved from your camera and ultimately get seen by the client. That's as far as we're going. Camera to client today. In subsequent ways, we're going to talk about editing, post-processing, and backing those files up. And then we're going to talk about how they move from client to lab. So we're breaking this up into sections. We're going from client camera to client, OK? We're going from um, client to backup systems, to how to back things up. And we're also going to then tackle the chunk after the client orders, how do the files move through your system to actually order the product, OK? Your files are at their most vulnerable when you take the card out of the camera. That's when they are the most vulnerable, and you need to minimize that time frame, OK? You should look at that time frame as the most vulnerable time of your life. Like, that's when you're cutting somebody open in surgery and hoping they don't die. Seriously. That moment when you take the, cam the card out of the camera, you should look at that as the most critical point in your workflow. Like, this is all I have, this little thing right here. OK? They need to be on a computer and backed up as quickly as possible. OK? There are photographers out there who have, um, who have come up with what I call the rule of segregation. No cards are kept all in the same place. So they have like two, you know, those little, five, those little um, pockets you can put your cards in, like if you're in a wedding. They will separate cards and keep them in separate places just in case the thing gets lost. Then you're, then you're up a creek. You've got nothing, right? If you lose that little pocket that puts all your cards in, you're up a creek if you don't have that. So they have two management systems, OK? Taking control of your file management is critical. I'm going to address this later when we get to backup systems, but I'm going to ask it one more time here. Most cameras these days have two card slots, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you put two cards in them? Do you shoot the same thing on both cards? Good. A lot of people just get lazy, and they just shoot from one card to the next. If you shoot on both cards and store those two in separate places, you've got a backup. OK? Do I do that? No. Should I? Mm, if I was shooting weddings, yes. Since I'm in a portrait session, the files, before the client has even left the session, we run upstairs, we pop them in the computer, and start calling and backing up the RAWs. OK? So they're pretty much barely out the door before they're all backed up upstairs on our RAID system. You will be dealing with these files for sometimes a year or more, especially when you have things like a baby plan. You know, baby plan, you're be shooting this session, or an engagement with a wedding. You do the engagement, and then you do the wedding six months later. And that kind of thing. You're going to be dealing with this client in your workflow for a long time. So you want to make sure that you do it in an organized way and safely. And if you stay organized, you know, this is a classic scenario. You know how um, this is what will happen with me. I'll do a newborn. Two years later, they come back for the second baby. And they want to talk about what they did with the first baby, because they want to match it on the wall, right? I better be able to find that first baby really quickly and efficiently in my systems. So how you name things, how you operate, how you tag stuff, how you synchronize and organize your files. Can you find the RAWs? Can you find the edited PSDs? Can you find their order, their ordered products? Is everything organized? OK? So the big question is, is what happens to your card right after you shoot? If you're on location, how are you making sure that card is safe? I used to just keep it in my camera until I was ready to download it, which honestly I think is a little safer um, as long as you don't format your card. <laughs> Once you format your card, chances are you can save something off of it, like you can rescue something off of it. 
But if you shoot over the top of that formatted card, you're screwed. OK? I've done it. Trust me. It sucks. Costs a lot of money to find out you can't save your files. So don't do that. Minimize that time from camera to backup as much as you can. OK? Store in separate locations. Photographers who uh, travel, like literally carry cards in separate bags, separate places. Travel photographers and things like that, they really want to make sure that everything is safe and that they have things in multiple. You might think initially that that's crazy to put things in different locations because you'll lose track of them. But if you put them in the same place in two separate bags every single time, then if you lose one bag, you haven't lost everything, especially when you're traveling. Okay? So camera to computer to backup. First things first, how many of you are backing up right away when you download your ROS? Good, 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 OK? If you're not, you need to come up with a system. Now, do I immediately back up all the ROS? No. I only back up the cold ROS, the first cull. So the first thing I do is download the images onto the computer, and then I spend two minutes doing a quick cull. Just going through, I get about 70, 80. This, I move from about 300 images down to about 70 or 80. So too much to show the client, but enough to know that those are the ones I'm going to keep. Then those 70 to 80 files are backed up to our Synology Disk Station RAID drive. It's a RAID 5. It might be a RAID 6. I don't remember. We'll explain. I'm going to explain backup systems in another class on how that works and what the best way to go about doing it is. Okay? So that's the first thing that gets done. And I'm going to talk also in that class on the 3 2, 1 system for backing up. Um, and yeah, I'll explain it. So today is all about organization, OK? How do you organize your files? Do you guys feel like you have a good system? It feels, it feels together, and it feels like, OK, I know how to find stuff. I can find it when I need it. Do you name things correctly? You feeling OK? Like you could find something at the drop of a hat two years ago? A session you did January of 2012. Can you find it? OK, good. Some of you are on the right track. Some of you are not. It's kind of uncomfortable when you're like going through all your drives and trying to figure out where everything is, especially when you're like on the external backup system, where you just you have a bunch of drives that hang out. And you're like, oh, that was on the 2012, and it's not labeled crap. Which one? I better plug each one in to find out which one's which. <laughs> Been there. 